here I have a uh, lavery on the uh, Canadian guitar company, uh, an extraordinarily great guitar on top of my desktop. The binding on this is coming off. What I did was loosen the strings here and stuck a chopstick through here. Um, just to get the strings out of the way and not to have to take it apart uh, because they're a new string, no sense in taking them off. Uh, all right. First thing is uh, these, uh, the bindings have stretched a little bit from the heat and it's coming up above the fretboard. So, what I'm doing is taking down any high spots. Uh, last thing I want my clients to do is being playing playing the guitar and feel this under their finger. And coming along and wiping this down with some lighter fluid because as I start to glue all this together, I don't want any material getting into the binding. Uh, anything you can't see, it's quite dirty. I'm coming along here with a surgical blade and seeing where it's tight and any sections that are loose. Then I'll come along with uh, some very good CA glue here. And I'll use this to get down into those cracks. After, of course, I tape off the fretboard. I like to use this dental pick uh, to put down in there and hold it open for, for me while I put on the glue. Now, you see here, I put on the um, tape. And I'm going to the first part here, find the loosest part and stick this down in there so I have a space to get that CA glue down in there. Always use good CA glue, a very, very light viscosity so it soaks up into there. And make sure that you tape up the, the neck itself in case it drips out to the bottom of the binding. Okay, I turn the, uh, it's all glued. And after it dried, I turned it on its side, and I could feel with my fingers uh, where it stretched from the heat, and it's not even with the neck itself. So I'm gently coming over with a very sharp blade, and I've been doing this a very long time, and I have a very steady hand. Uh, even though I'm older, I'm very steady. And um, I'm going over this very lightly, like feather light. Uh, just to get any uh, high spots. I don't want to scrape off the whole binding, just the areas that I can feel. You want to see as I go down, I feel, uh, I don't want to feel anything, put it that way. I just keep going lightly and taking care of every little area that doesn't feel quite right. It's like being blind. You should be able to just close your eyes, run your hand over it, and it should feel like one piece. The last thing you want to do is annoy the player with, uh, you know, poor fret work, poor binding work, or things like that. Now, if you're not, a, if you're trying this on your own, you're not as experienced as I am, uh, please tape everything up. Uh, or don't do it. Otherwise, especially on an expensive guitar, uh, if you're going to practice repairing guitars, always do them on the cheap older ones. Or, you know, for what it's worth, send it to somebody who has a lot of experience and who's going to be um, the right fit for your guitar. Remember, you know, uh, <laughs> if you're Carrying expensive guitars, you don't go in asking pricing, uh, like, uh, let's compare it to a doctor. You don't go com uh, asking who's the cheapest doctor. You ask which doctor has the best reputation and can take care of your problems. Then maybe you worry about the price. But the first thing you worry about first is who's going to take the best care of your guitar. Okay, that's feeling quite smooth now. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking that. That's nice and tight. Everything's feeling good. 